Fox 17 News. Erica Striva, Fox. All right, some good advice because we know a lot of people will be heading to the lake shore because yeah, it is going to be one. another uh, warm stretch here, Kevin. Yeah, it is, especially as we get into Friday and beyond. Uh, as the, we go back to Eric's story there, guys, this is why we give you the West Michigan, Lake Michigan forecast every single day uh, on several of our newscasts because we want you to be safe. We have wave heights there, small craft advisories. If there are some, that's why we do that. So already, Ty Shesky at 4, 5, and 6 in the afternoon is giving you the forecast for the next day because we figure by that point, if you haven't gone to the lake uh, for the day, you're probably going to be planning on the next day at that point. And of course, I've got that coming up here momentarily. Good evening, everybody. As we look out over Grand Rapids, still have dry pavement. Well, we do have some rain showers on radar, which I'll show you momentarily. A few light showers are going to be possible here tonight. Probably not much in the way of thunderstorm activity, and there may be some areas that see just enough to wet the pavement. Others may be up to about a quarter of an inch or so. I don't see this as a big rainfall for us. I'll show you radar here momentarily. The heat and the mugginess continue not only overnight, but right into tomorrow. Brief heat wave coming up this weekend with highs on Friday up around 90 degrees and then into the low 90s as we get into Saturday and Sunday. So here's live Doppler radar. Most of the rain, at least it looks like it is along and west of US 131. Some of this is not reaching the ground. We're uh, on the north side of Grand Rapids here at the station. We still have dry pavement out there. There may be a little bit steadier rain down here in in the uh, area of yellow and orange, but this is the Grand Rapids radar and the farther away from the radar beam you get the higher up in the sky it shoots. So that may look like heavier precipitation. It probably isn't really that much heavier. You can see it on the composite radar where we take a mishmash of all the radar sites and kind of crush them together. And here's a time lapse over the last couple of hours. So eh, a little bit steadier precipitation down there in uh, in Berrien County and maybe eventually moving into Van Buren County as well. Again, best chance of a thunder shower probably along and south of I-94. The rest of us just some general right rain showers is what we're looking at here. A lot of the temperatures are still uh, somewhat warm out there. We're in the mid to upper 70s because the rain hasn't gotten to a lot of these places to knock it down. We're in the low to mid 70s there at the lakeshore. Dew point temperatures are in the upper 60s to around the 70 degree mark. That means there's a fair amount of moisture in the atmosphere uh, and we'll squeeze some of that out. But again, I'm not really looking for a real heavy rain here, a uh, soaking rain. We have weak uh, upper level disturbance and a low pressure area riding along the front moving on through and it's fairly narrow. I would see this going through maybe three, four, five o'clock in the morning, and that would be about it. And there could be a few lingering showers tomorrow early in the morning, but most of that is going to be out of here once this lifts on through the area. Our Skycast HD forecast then for tomorrow, we'll start with some morning cloud cover, maybe an early morning lingering shower, especially south and east of Grand Rapids. Otherwise, we are expecting to see some sunshine as we head on through the afternoon. Highs around 85 degrees with the north to turning west wind by the late afternoon at about 6 to 12 miles per hour. And here's that Lake Michigan forecast we're talking about. We'll have waves running about a foot or less in the morning, one to two feet at their highest point with a northwest wind at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. No small craft advisories, no beach hazard risk. Lake Michigan water temperatures are in the 60s out there. Here's what it looks like on Future Track HD. There's that low pressure system riding along that front. That's what's going to generate or help to generate a few light showers through the area. By 6 p.m. we've got high pressure building in. We should be getting to clear out. High pressure stays in control for Friday. Hot, muggy conditions with highs around 90 degrees and we have another warm front that's going to lift down through the area as we get into Saturday. That's just more reinforcing hazy, hot, humid conditions. Maybe an isolated shower or storm on Saturday, but a lot of that will be dry. But you're going to feel the heat for about a three-day period. 85 tomorrow, 90 on Friday, 93 maybe an isolated shower or storm on Saturday, 91 on so Sunday with a better chance of some showers and thunderstorms and then maybe an isolated shower with temperatures cooling back into the mid 80s by the time we get into the middle of next week. Derek, Janice. All right.